I am a big fan of the Apple Magic Keyboard and this one in particular has been my main driver for around 4 years and it still works perfectly fine. I love it because it is very easy to swap between the desktop and the laptop and in fact I have another one that I received as a gift and this one actually has never even been used up till this point. Uh, but now that I'm a full time content creator I wanted to see if I could potentially type any faster and enjoy the experience more with the mechanical keyboard. So I decided to invest in a new fee Air 75 V2. In terms of the unboxing experience, it is actually quite enjoyable. It is very similar to an Apple product. The box comes with a nice sleeve. And once we remove the sleeve, we find all of the contents. On top of the keyboard, we find the manual as well as some stickers that we can stick on the keyboard or our laptop. On top, we have a few accessories. This includes a USB cable, which is USB-C to USB-A. You plug the USB-C into the keyboard and the USB-A into your laptop or desktop. It's of a decent length and this is probably what I will be using because I don't want to worry about ever charging this. You also find space switches as well as a 2.4 GHz wireless dongle. I won't be using the dongle because for me Bluetooth is perfectly fine if I ever need to go wireless. Now the keyboard comes with Mac keys pre-installed but you can also find Windows keycaps which you can install quite easily as well as spare keycaps for the enter and the escape key if you ever want to change the colors and a few other spares as well. The final spare worth mentioning is the keycap puller as well as the switch puller which will allow you to customize this keyboard if you ever want to go down that route. In the main section of the box you can find the keyboard which is actually contained in a nice plastic cover. Now I don't intend to baby this keyboard and it is going to live without the cover on my desk but it's nice that they included it. Now before I purchased this keyboard of course I did do some research on it and I did go with the white version because I like how it reflects light which is great because I do a lot of video creation and the more light the better. And straight out of the box the keyboard does feel really nice under the fingers but let's take a look at the switches that I went with. In the world of mechanical keyboards there are three kinds of switches linear, tactile and clicky. Linear is for gaming and it doesn't have a bump. Tactile does have a slight bump before the keystroke is registered and clicky also has additional mechanisms that make an audible click. I went with brown switches which are tactile because I do like a slight bump but I don't want something that is intentionally making some sound. Along with the switches you can find the wireless receiver as well which you can actually attach to the cable if you wanted to. Now I did play around with the additional switches that came as samples and personally I feel like maybe I should have gone with the MOS switches which are also tactile but require a bit more force and have a stronger bump. All in all for starting out I feel like the brown tactile switches are a good starting point. Also I've tried linear switches on my friends keyboards and they are definitely not for me so unless you actively hate a nice bumpy feel don't go with the linear switches. Now there are a few more things that I want to mention about this keyboard. First I really like the feet as it gives me a very nice typing angle. I did have to update the firmware in order to use it with the VIA app and in order to update the firmware you need to use the QMK toolbox and it works on Mac as well as Windows. I actually used it on my Silicon Mac. Additionally in order to use the function keys so that they function like function keys without having to press the FN button I had to remap it using the VIA app. Finally there are two main reasons for getting a mechanical keyboard. The more important one is the feel and this feels amazing. The second reason is potentially being able to type faster, so let's do a quick retest.